I'll show you how to register for a contest. Um, so again, if you've already registered for a contest, you know what this is all about. You've done this before. If you have not yet registered for one of our upcoming contests, uh, once you find a contest that you want to register for, remember uh, you can select the age level at the top of our uh, of our web page, uh, and you can then uh, you can click on the upcoming events, and you can filter it by state if you want, so you can see what events are available to uh, to sign up for. Once you've selected an event, you'll see a screen like this. It'll tell you, you know, how much the, you know, give you information, how much the test costs, what the time, what the uh, schedule of events is going to look like, and all that sort of thing, right? So, I mean, this is stuff that you can uh, you can access on any of the pages for any of our contests. Uh, I'm going to have Adam scroll all the way down to the bottom, and basically, in order to actually register for the test, you're going to uh, need to select what state you're in. Adam's going to select Arkansas. So you'll notice that when you see the list of uh, geographic regions, it's going to start off with continents and it's going to have some countries and towards the bottom of the list, you'll see all the US states. So Adam's going to select Arkansas and click register now. The, the next page that you get to contains some rules and once you go through the rules, you go down, scroll down a little bit further and you'll see where you register. All right, so Adam is going to pick Founders Classical as the school. Again, you know, go ahead and pick your own school. All right, Adam's going to put his own information in as the registering adult. Uh, and, uh, and he's just going to put 123 for the phone number um, because I don't want everybody giving Adam a phone call. So, so we're not going to put Adam's actual phone number here. Um, but your chaperone does need to put their phone number when they register for a real contest, because that's how we can reach you if, if we need to, if we're unable to reach you by email. All right, Adam's going to register one student with this test. And uh, Adam, go ahead and put my name in and, and call me a third grader. I, I, uh, that should be fine. Um, You'll notice that there are some fields here when you register. I should explain a little bit about this. There's a pronunciation guide. So if, for instance, um, uh, if, you're, if you feel like your name is uh, a name that our staff might have difficulty knowing how to pronounce, you can kind of give some, uh, some uh, assistance in the pronunciation field so that you can uh, so that, you know, if our staff needs to be able to, to say your name, then they'll be able to know how, how that works. Um, so Adam's going to need to, so Adam just wrote my name in the pronunciation. Uh, my name, I think, is easy enough for most people to pronounce. Uh, under the participant chaperone email, um, Adam, go ahead and put my email address there. I think that's, that's probably fine. Okay, so just waiting for Adam to put my email address uh, in, in the place where it asked for the participant email. All right, <clears throat> so this is this is what you all will do when you're registering. Of course, um, make sure that either the student or the or the chaperone has their email address there. Uh, notice that it gives you an option for the grade level, uh, and we're going to pretend like I'm a third grader for today. Uh, we also have an optional gender field. Uh, this is uh, totally optional for you. Uh, we have an, uh, we hopefully we have enough options that you can select what's appropriate for you. Um, but uh, we don't. Uh, all we're doing is is basically taking aggregate data. If you're interested in helping us to you know to know a little bit more about gender participation in our contest, uh, feel free to fill that out. Uh, the test language, uh, you should all be picking English for an online contest. Uh, you know, uh, if you pick one of the others, we can't guarantee that that will be available. All right. Once you've done that, go on down to the bottom and uh, you need to click the, uh, the box that says, I agree to follow the rules. Uh, hopefully that's an obvious step for everybody. And then there is a spam blocker. You'd be surprised how effective that is in keeping... Uh, keeping spam registrations from coming through. Adam's going to write the digit five in there and click submit. All right, at this point, uh, this is the page that you get when you're done registering for a contest. And if you scroll down, you'll see this information specific to this registration. Uh, in particular, it'll give you a confirmation of the student uh, uh, who is registered or the students in this case. Uh, along with some uh, some other information that we have in our database. Uh, 
one thing that you want to pay particular attention to is when it says number of students one and then it lists uh, if there were more than one student, uh, then you would see all of those. Uh, the ID number, this is important. Once you've registered, you want to make sure that you take note of that ID number because that ID number is what you'll use to log into the contest. 